Hound? Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, oh, but we're not getting. Oh, we're not getting Chris. <laughs> that is. We are Soul getting Arts. Soul Arts against DZ. Ah. Um, we Maybe. saw Soul Arts before. He is a very um, great choke player, and DZ um, he's a bit of an oddball. While he's using Inkling here, his real main is Bowser Jr., and we might see that later on in the set. Uh, I think he's been going Inkling most of today, though. Uh, I've had a few people uh, who've had to play him that are my friends, and like, yeah. So what Inkling. we're probably going to see here is kind of a variation on the speed against range matchup. Um, Inkling is a very quick character, has some good frame data, um, is able to get in and get combos like we're seeing right here, but does not have the reach to contest Shulk uh, very well. Oh, yeah. England. So, uh, what we're going to be seeing is most of the match, we're going to be seeing uh, Swords try to keep uh, DZ out. No, oh, yeah. DZ up. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job of getting in right now. That's for sure. Yeah, Inkling very good at being able to move around. I think, in my, my opinion, like, definitely top five in terms of movement and creating options out of that movement. Oh, yeah. I forgot you made Inkling. Not anymore. But oh. It's okay. Most people don't know. But, no, Inkling, definitely a very quick character, a character that can create a lot of different situations just from that movement, being able to stay so low during the dash, being able to go under things just oh. to dash attack or grab. And DZ takes the first stock in a rather stylish way, gets yep. the jab lock into the down smash, and looks like he's going to get a good amount of extra credit considering he just got a little bit of ink on him. Indeed. Yeah, uh, right. with the splatter shot. Which is a surprisingly good move, too. Yeah, very good. It's a very good get off the ledge option. You just jump and shoot that. But Swords is ledge. in the Smash Art right now. Just right. deactivated it, but. That's the fair. Very scary. Still not enough. We're going to roll her in. He tries to get up attack. Gets the four tilt on the neutral get up. And now this is a pretty good stop match. Ooh. Didn't get the tech there, and DZ just comes in and fair. But DZ is just starting these combos again and again. Yeah. Other than uh, Shulk Shield Art, which has a cooldown, he has a lot of trouble. Um, uh, getting him off of it. All right, we're in shield art. I'm just going to try to... <laughs> <laughs> Rolls behind. <laughs> I'm going to make sure the I get the maximum the amount of charge on charge his down smash punish. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. He's like, all right, he's going to hold the gun for this long. Oh, Ooh, nice but DZ in. gets the berry and a forward smash. That's going to get it, yeah. Get that decently early KO. Looks like Solaris is really struggling with DZ right now. All right, we're going to get the ink on. We're in shield. <laughs> we're just going to F smash out of that. Now Solaris is fully inked. That means that basically any hit or any combo is going to do an absolute ton of damage. Okay. The nice up B out of shield there. But he's Solaris. doing a pretty good job of keeping DZ at bay and getting that ink off slowly but surely. All right, tries to get... All right gets the back here. And Smash Art Fair's going to barely not take it. All right. We're in oh. That was a. That was an SD right there. Yeah. That's what I'll say. Did he try to fastball grab ledge? I'm not sure what he I'm was trying sure to do. I'm not sure what happened. I think he just missed. Maybe. He really wanted that second stop. He definitely did. So but anyway, for a little bit uh, more background on these players, um, DZ um, is no joke. Um, I believe last week he got top eight beating PK Chris. Uh, he got fifth, I believe, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Yeah, he's been doing very well for himself as of late. And if he keeps going like this, he might make another. Yeah. This is definitely very doable for him right now. But Swords is not the kind of player to crumble like that. He's pretty good at adapting, and I'm sure that I'm sure that we'll see that right here. I would that backslash just to get out of there or did he have miss input? I'm I think sure. it was a miss input. Yeah. Like okay, so base him out with these back airs. Just to start off, it seems like Solaris is doing a little bit of a better job of keeping DZ out um, than at the start of game one, where DZ just kind of had free reign to do whatever he wanted. Yeah. I like with the his speed art, he's going to be able to apply some good pressure of his own. He goes in the smash art, gets the back Ooh. air, and that's going to take Now it. that was a that was a meaty back air. Eat the right. taunt too. Yeah. You saw that, right? I definitely saw that. Ooh, Nair doesn't get anything off of it, but reads the roll, gets the grab. Gets the shield art um, to not take a lot of knockback. Break the combo. But now he's not going to be able to use it again for a little while. Ooh, a lot of pressure coming out from mm -hmm. easily there while he's off on the ledge. Yep. There, gets the speed art. 
very smart. Uh, staying in the air when the roller's out, that's one of the best things you can do. The roller cannot physically hit an opponent in the air. So jumping and picking an aerial option is usually one of the best ways to create an offensive situation off of an inkling. The Shulk's in aerials are absolutely excellent. While they're yes, slow in startup, true. their reach and their reward makes them some of the best in the game in my opinion. They definitely have a lot of range. I'm not probably the longest aerials in terms of the hitbox in the game. Oh, nice but drop down Soros gets that nice edge guard. It's really looking like Soros made the proper adaptations, just no. like I thought he would. Yeah, he's definitely staying on top so of DZ right now. So let's see if DZ can just get in again and get that pressure in, like we saw game one. DZ barely getting missing, getting not getting hit by that back slice. Correct. We're gonna back throw. Back throw's not gonna take it yet. It's, it's, it's a decent kill throw, but it's not that strong. And, man, are we going to see another 3-stop? Like we saw um, uh, Ippo versus Venya on stream before. Maybe. Oh, that's oh. that grab. Back throw. Back, back throw went straight. When smash art is definitely going to take that stock, though. And the but Solus is going to respond immediately with a smash art back air. And we're going to go to game three, folks. The, is ours to well, the, the question here is, does DZ think the Inkling's going to be able to keep getting the job done like he did in Game 1, or is he going to look at his other options that he has? Well, we see the Junior. Hammer. Hammer time. <laughs> okay. First question is, where are we going? I just want to say, even though Junior as a character might not be the best, that up air is DLC. <laughs> It was DLC in Smash 4 too. You ever just get hit That's by- That's all he has though. You ever just get hit by a <laughs> car and he just list. goes four up air to a forward air and you take like 80% or like up throw into up air? Uh, but we're, no, right. we're, we're kind of We're going to be seeing the A-Kling for game three We're staying though. helmet boy. Everyone's favorite. Why does he have the helmet anyway? Well, it's just a piece of armor that you can have in Splatoon. So they decided, why not? Ooh, the down air in the neutral. Interesting option. I never really see Inkling down air come out too often. So uh, once again, it seems like uh, Solaris is going to just try to do his best to keep DZ out because he knows he doesn't want to have DZ at close range for too long, even with that shield art to kind of bail him out in some situations. Yeah, DZ is always staying on top of him, getting that one grab and then just proceeding to follow up with aerial after aerial. But Solaris is smash art on deck. And that down, down smash is going to take the stock. 75%, I think? Uh, yeah, about that. The KO power that Choke has with Smash Art on is absolutely insane. Ooh, I like the roller there, reading that he was going to tech away or tech for this neutral tech. And... Oh! Down throw goes for the forwarder, but DZ techs out of it. Um, like I mentioned before, um, when Solaris is playing um, against Hira, um, Buster decreases the knockback of Choke's move so he can get some unique combos off of it. Yeah. One thing to note here in this matchup, too, is that uh, the Inkling uh, up throw up air does not work if Shulk has shield art online or yep. if he has it available to him. This is one yes. of, I think, three characters that it doesn't work on. Um, it doesn't work on Game & Watch and, um, because he can up Yeah, air. and Yoshi as well. Yes. Yoshi can double jump on and out of it. I, I'm not sure. I might have heard that Pokemon Trainer can also um, get out by switching. It, yeah, Pokemon Trainer should be. Oh. Ooh, we tried to air dodge to the ledge, but misspaced it there. How, very unfortunate for DZ there. This is going to be a big hill to climb for DZ yeah. right here. But Inkling is a character that can do a lot of damage really quickly. <laughs> Especially if they're able to ink you. That, that's very true. Well, just like Inkling can put on a lot of damage very quickly, so can Buster Shulk. Yeah. Already at 72%. Sora's just throwing out these aerials, keeping DZ out, but he's trying to roll her in. Oh, now Solaris is a smash art. As you, you saw before, any decently strong move could take the stock with smash art on right now. Yeah, and the like forward tilt. And that forward tilt is going to take the stock at about 80%. That's and crazy. Solaris is going to win 2-1 over DZ. Well, DZ may have lost. It's a pretty